only this for Smeggle YouTube. This smells amazing. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Candice, and every week on Eat Your Fork and Vegetables, we make delicious whole food plant-based recipes. So let's get into this. So as you saw in the title, I am going to show you how to make some delicious tempeh tacos. So let's get started. Of course, these have a twist. Nothing is even cooked, and I can already smell these delicious ingredients. So we are going to start by sauteing one medium onion I have here. This recipe is full of delicious whole food plant-based ingredients. I also have a very secret recipe that's going to be included down below. Um, it's my refried beans, although there's no cooking involved, it's just a real quick, delicious, flavorful bean that I've put together that we're also going to put on these tacos, so make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss those. We are going to add our next ingredients. So the next one might surprise you a little bit, but hey, you came to eat your fork and vegetables, so we're going to add some more vegetables to this, some unconventional vegetables that's going to taste amazing. So I have a cauliflower, broccoli, and carrot mix. So just the cups here, I've thawed them and then I chopped them up finely and we are gonna add that to the mix. And then we'll add our tempeh in. So for those of you that aren't familiar with tempeh, so tempeh is a whole food source. It's also a fermented product. So it's fermented soybeans. So not only is it getting the whole food nutrition, which obviously involves every part of that bean, but you're also getting a fermented product, so you're getting those healthy probiotics that are awesome for your gut. And hey, if you're getting some enjoyment out of this video, or if you're learning something, give me a Taco Tuesday or just a taco down below. Let me know. Please. So once it's brown to your liking, we are going to add our spices and our sauce. So super easy. Taco seasoning. Taco. So we're just going to add, I have two tablespoons here, I might add a bit more. Just clubhouse taco seasoning, if you have old El Paso taco seasoning, if you want to make your own taco seasoning, that's entirely up to you. And then I have a mix of soy sauce and water. And we're just cooking this basically until it's combined. So of course the time has come where you have to test. We have to test and see if we need to add any more taco seasoning or if we need a bit more salt. So to make this a whole food plant-based taco, we would be using some sort of a sprouted grain wrap. I unfortunately don't have any of those on hand at the moment. So if you have them, please use them. It's a delicious whole food plant-based recipe. I am gonna be using the taco kit that I have on hand. So let's get into this assembly. So we're gonna be making a delicious crunch wrap style of taco. I have made my own refried beans, like I said, although they're not fried at all. So we are going to start by smearing a bunch all over this little tortilla. And then we're going to put our hard shell in the center and fill it with our tempeh taco meat. Then we're going to drizzle it with some hot sauce. Now I know this looks like a ketchup bottle, but I promise I don't put ketchup on my tacos. And then we're just going to smush it all together. There you have it, tempeh tacos with a twist. I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you did, please hit that like button. Give me a taco down below. And don't forget to eat your fork and vegetables.